How you doing, YouTube? Uh, here in front of me, I got a AC 225M Lincoln welder, and I converted into a DC welder. This two right here, the two middle ones, are for AC connectors, and the two side, and this one and that one, is for the DC. I kind of left. The, uh, I kind of wanted four different options in case I ever wanted, you know, burn AC rods. Or you know, uh, you know, I got the option to burn AC rods, but uh, yeah, that's that, this right here is my conversion, and how I did my conversion. How I did my conversion. I basically, um, I, I basically I got my whole setup right here. I I got the transformer, a heat sink, a rectifier, and four connectors. And this number two gauge welding wire right here, which the welding wire, heat sink, the heat sink and the rectifier, I I actually bought them off Amazon, and the choke too. Oh, uh, the choke! I bought I bought all those on Amazon. I think yeah, it, I think it ended up costing me like I'm gonna say like 60, 70 bucks or whatever, and and, and total cost is. And the connectors too. The connectors, I ordered them off Amazon. Uh, actually, uh, if you got Prime or whatever, you ever get them, you know, uh, you might be able to find them a little bit cheaper. So, uh, uh, this right here's my whole setup right here. Here's my setup. So now I'm gonna explain to y'all on how uh, on how to wire it. If you ever wanted to switch your you know welder into a uh, DC welder. From the positive, uh, from, from the positive uh, stinger right here, uh, you know it. Uh, it goes since it's an AC welder. It's gonna be a uh, AC positive. I ran into the AC positive connector right here, and from that same connector, I ran another wire, another wire. I ran another wire to the rectifier over here, with just a positive AC. Which I, I, get, uh, I guess it's, you know, you, you can switch to Pol uh, Polaris, it's not really going to do an issue, uh, matter. Uh, but yeah, and then from right here on the rectifier, on the rectifier itself, it has a, oh uh, man, I don't think you can see it, no, it's pretty hard to see. But, uh, but yeah, on the rectifier you got the um, a plus, which that's the positive, you know, that same wire for the stinger, I, r I ran the wire through the choke right here. Uh, through this choke and then I, I wrapped it up four times through there uh, I wrapped it up four times through the choke and then from uh, and then from the choke it goes in into the transformer right here I wrapped it four times four fully times I wrapped it through there and then from the bottom up from the bottom of the transformer the wire comes out and is this wire right here is this wire and that wire goes now uh, it, it's, it has become a uh, DC now wire it goes to the to the DC positive for the stinger I right hear so this is what makes it you know with the transformer and the choke it smooths out the weld if you if you, if you just have the the heat sink and the rectifier it's your, your welds aren't gonna be as smooth as exactly you know Wrapping it to a transformer and to the choke and, and a choke, but yeah, you know, positive AC to the connector, connector, connector to the rectifier, and positive on the rectifier through the choke four times, and then into the transformer, into the transformer four times. I wrapped it, and then it comes out to the DC positive stinger right here. And then the negative, I basically, I basically did the same thing. I just didn't have to wrap it to the transformer or to the choke. I basically ran the AC negative right here through the, through the connector, on the connector. And from the connector, I ran it to the, uh, to the rectifier, to the rectifier and from the other side of the of the of the rectifier, 
Let's see if we can see. Right. Yeah, there you see that bolt on the bottom from that. Uh, from the other one, I ran another connector, which is this uh, is this connector to the AC or to the I guess DC uh, negative connector right here for the ground right here. So yeah, uh, did this right here. How I did my setup right here for uh, for, uh, for my welder. So I could trans uh, make it into a DC welder. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything like that, please comment below and please like and subscribe this video.